بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک دس از ڈاکٹر عابد سرگانی واٹ از اینیمل بریڈنگ اینڈ جینیٹکس اینیمل بریڈنگ از دا برانچ آف دی اینیمل سائنسز دیٹ ایڈریس دی ایویلیوشن آف دی جینیٹک ویلیو ان ٹرمس آف ایسٹیمیٹیڈ بریڈنگ ویلیو آف دی ڈومیسٹک لائف اسٹاک ایز اینیملس ہیو بین سلیکٹیڈ فار دی بریڈنگ وتھ سپیریئر estimated breeding values and growth rate, egg, meat, milk or wool production as well as other important desirable traits like color, height, etc. Now the methods of breeding. There are generally two methods of the breeding. One is called inbreeding, another one is outbreeding. Inbreeding refers to the mating between the related individuals while outbreeding refers to mating between unrelated individuals. Now, now we will discuss about the types of inbreeding. So the inbreeding have been categorized into two, close breeding and line inbreeding. Close inbreeding refers to more intensive form of the inbreeding while line breeding refers to less intensive form of the inbreeding. In close breeding, parent to offspring mating, for example sire to daughter and son to the dam, while full sip mating also included into the close inbreeding line breeding example includes the half sip mating cousin mating grandparent to grandson or daughter mating key terminologies related to the inbreeding includes full sip or full brother and sister mating means whose both parents means father and mother are common and half sib or half brother and sister refers to whose one parent is common it means it may be father or mother and double first cousin whose four ground parents are common but fathers may be different and single first cousin whose two ground parents are in common half first cousin refers to whose one ground parent is common only this is an example of the full sibs mating in which a male though giving a two birth so the two kids may one male and other one is female so these male and females are breeded or mating and results may be consequences of the illness like death and unthrifty kids may be produced this is an disadvantage of the inbreeding now what are the advantages of the inbreeding and disadvantages of the inbreeding Inbreeding increases the homozygosity. It is necessary if we want to evolve a pure line animal. It exposes the harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by the selection. It helps in the combination of the superior genes. While it also increases in productivity of the inbreed population. Now the, what are the disadvantages of inbreeding? Continued close inbreeding reduces the fertility and productivity of the animals that's term especially used for this condition is called inbreeding depression so in next video we will discuss in about the detail about the outbreeding and various types of the outbreeding thank you very much for today's lecture for upcoming videos and new videos about the animal sciences subscribe my youtube channel and keep supporting thank you very much